I'd like to let you know about our new firmware that is now available for the SoundHack Spectrophone. In addition to a couple fun new features, this update includes critical bug fixes and is therefore recommended for all Spectrophone users. This firmware can be downloaded from our website at the link in the video description and is also linked at the top of the Spectrophone's webpage. In this video, we'll show how to install the firmware and briefly go over the new features. All this information is also included in the README file when you download the firmware. If your Spectrophone is already notated on the back with SP38 or greater, then you do not need this update. You can also look at the array binary on startup to see which version you have. The array binary displays two 4-bit binary numbers to show the version. SP38 displays as 0010110. So when you power it up, it looks like this. To install the firmware, power off your system, take your Spectrophone out of the case, and remove the micro SD card from the slot. Load it onto your computer, unzip the firmware package, and copy the sp38.dat file onto it. If you've created any user arrays, they will appear on the card as WAV files. If any previous sp.dat files do exist on the card, make sure to delete them from the card and empty the trash. If you've never updated your Spectrophone before, then you are unlikely to see any previous dat files. Now place the card back into the Spectrophone, install it into the case, and power it on while holding the button for SAM SAOB. This will load the new firmware onto the Spectrophone. The array binary is used to display the version number during startup as two 4 bit binary numbers. Again, SP38 displays as 0010110. That's it. Now you have updated the firmware. On release, the default sub CV output was for the envelope follower and SAM while the sub-oscillator was only available in SAO. In version SP38, the sub-oscillator can now also be accessed in SAM. I find it pretty useful to be able to layer sub-oscillations with the spectrally modulated harmonic outputs, as this can make a really nice deep anchor for the sound, even when taking flights of extra fancy through the upper ends of spectrum. The other new feature is that if you want to delete a user-created array and return that slot to the default, you can now do so. As before, we can shift from one array to the next by holding shift on the side we're listening to and pressing the opposite shift. Now, if we want to clear a slot, we do the same, but instead of releasing the opposite shift, we can hold it for a couple seconds. The user array will be deleted and the slot will be reset to the default array. We hope you're having fun with the Spectrophone. Stay tuned for more patching videos. Thanks for watching and happy patching.